Hi Bluebird friends, it's Mrs. B and I hope you all are staying healthy and well at this time. I miss you guys so much already. And because I won't get to see you face to face for a while, I thought that we can start some online art lessons. So I thought what better way to start our online art lessons than to draw and create a bluebird together. So. Let's do a little bit of research and learn a little bit more about bluebirds before we start to create one. Come on. So some really cool facts about the Eastern Bluebird is that they're only found in North America and that's where we live. Their eggs are normally pale blue and very rarely do they lay any white ones. Their nests are made of grass and pine needles and they're actually family oriented birds. That means they like to hang out with their family. And did you know that they can reach up to 17 miles per hour when they fly? That is super fast. They also love to eat sunflower chips and insects. And bluebirds also love to bathe and play in backyard bird baths. So don't forget to put out some sunflower chips and some water in your bird bath for them. Now let's get started on our bluebird drawing to need is a paper and a pencil for this. So getting started, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a small curve for the top of his head, like a flat hill. Next, we're gonna make a cone shape for the beak. We're gonna round out the bottom of that cone where it connects to the head. We're gonna bring a little line down to get us started on the neck. Now, bluebirds, as we saw, are blue and orange. So, we're gonna separate the blue part of his head here. We can't forget to add the little eyeball. Remember, we're looking sideways at this bird, so that means we only see one eye. Now, we're gonna go ahead and make a long, straight diagonal line down for his back. Part of this line's gonna be his tail. Let's curve his belly in just like that. You can make your bird a little chubby if you like. There's nothing wrong with a little chubby bird. Now, let's make a curved line for the wing. I'm gonna extend it out just a little bit so I can have some longer feathers for the wing. Now when we go to add our feathers to the wing, it's okay if you don't get it quite exactly like how I'm drawing mine. Remember, each bird is different. We just want to put in a few little feathers into the wings to give him that 17 mile fast speed when he flies. So I'm just adding a few more little feathers in here. Now, I'm going to add his tail. Now they got long tail feathers to help them balance when they're sitting on their branches. So I'm going to add just a few long tail feathers here behind our bird. And don't forget, it's okay if it doesn't look exactly like mine. All of our birds are different. Now, let's put the little bend in his leg here, and we're gonna curve his claws around in a C shape because our bluebird's gonna be sitting on a little branch. So there's one leg. Our next leg, we're gonna bring it kind of straight out and make our curve for our claws to hang on to that branch. Now the next thing to add is our tree branch. Now we want it to go under his feet that we drew because we want him to look like he's hanging on to the branch. So don't forget, do not draw through your bird's feet. Now, if you mess up, you can always erase. Remember, draw lightly until you have it right. That way it's easier to erase and start over again, just like how I had to do here with my bird's leg. And you can erase some of these connecting lines if we wanna get a nice smooth color later. And that's it, you're done, there's our bluebird. Good job, guys. 
Let's add some color. You can use crayons or watercolor. I'm gonna show you both, crayons and watercolor. Now, I'm gonna speed this up here just so you guys get an idea. I'm using a dark blue on the head and the wings, and then I'm using a light blue to blend it in and get nice and solid colors. Remember, we don't want any white poking through our color here. Now, I'm gonna use some orange because when we looked at our bluebirds and learned about them, they actually have an orange chest. I'm using a brown for the beak and the feet. I'm gonna also color in my tree branch. Now, to make my bluebird really pop, I'm gonna use a black crayon to outline it. And just like that, we're done coloring the eye. Now, if you also have watercolors at home, you can definitely use those to color in our bluebird. I'm using blue, of course, for the head and the wings. I'm making sure I'm adding lots of water though, because remember, it is watercolor, so we wanna make sure that there's lots of water added to it. I'm using the orange again for the chest. I'm getting a nice blend down into his white belly. I'm gonna also use the brown again for the beak and his feet, because when we were looking at our pictures of our bluebirds, their feet and their beak were kind of a brown color color, not all the way black. Now to finish off my bluebird, I'm going to add the black eye. And there we go. That was so much fun. So awesome to learn about those bluebirds and even getting to draw some. Don't forget guys to share with me, send a picture or maybe even a video of you creating your bluebirds and put it on our Facebook page. I hope you guys all stay healthy and stay well and don't forget to keep creating. It's a great day to be a bluebird.